As a kid, I loved reading. Some of my favorite series were Junie B. Jones, Judy Moody, Magic Treehouse, and most books by Judy Bloom. Some of my favorite memories were during the summer when my mom would take my sister and I to the library and I'd come home with a bag filled to the brim with all the books I wanted to conquer. My most favorite books to read growing up were probably any books by Judy Bloom. Out of all her books, my favorite series would have to be the Fudge series. James Stevenson was the illustrator for most of these books. The Fudge series consists of five books, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing, otherwise known as Sheila the Great, Super Fudge, fudge mania and Double Fudge. The series was written between the years of 1972 and 2002. The Fudge series follows the life of Farley Drexel Hatcher, otherwise known as Fudge, and talks about different things in his life such as wanting to learn how to fly, breeding birds, and spending the summer with his arch rival Sheila Tubman. Farley, who was nicknamed Fudge early on in his life, was born in New York City. He's the youngest of him and his brother Peter, who is seven years older than him. His parents are Warren and Ann Hatcher. Peter, his brother, is a smart but sarcastic, naive boy. He tries to make it obvious that he despises his, the, his brother throughout the series, but it's still obvious that he does care for him. Sheila Tubman is Fudge's arch nemesis. She and her family live in the same apartment complex, just two doors below him. She is incredibly bossy, and Fudge says that she has cooties. Within the Fudge series, my favorite book was Double Fudge, written back in 2002. In this book, Fudge and his family travel to Washington, D.C. to visit the Bureau of Engraving and Printing because Fudge has recently taken up a love and obsession with making money. While in D.C., they meet up with some long-lost cousins, the Howie Hatchers. Fudge learns that his three-year-old cousin is also named Farley Drexel Hatcher, which is Fudge's given name. This book was my favorite because it kind of ties the books together and brings the series to a close. By the time I hit middle school, I had moved on from the Fudge series to some of Judy Bloom's other books, like Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, Deanie, and Forever. As an author, Judy Bloom has won many awards for her literature throughout the years. One of her most favorite books, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, has won seven awards over the years, such as Outstanding Book of the Year by New York Times, Time Magazine's All-Time 100 Novels List, and the Scholastic Magazine's Parent and Child 100 Greatest Books for Kids. One of her other books, my own personal favorite, titled Forever, won the NPR Your Favorite's 100 Best Ever Teen Novels in 2012. Her book Forever was actually challenged by many parents because it talked about sexual relationships with teenagers. I wasn't able to find out for sure if the book was ever actually banned from schools, but in an interview, Jody spoke about how every year that book is challenged by many parents. I hope that as I get older and have my own kids that I will be able to share my love of Judy Bloom with them.